Hello everyone, welcome to Business School 101. Imagine you're concerned about the overall health of the economy, whether it's inflation rates affecting your cost of living or unemployment impacting job opportunities. Or consider how a government's decision to increase spending or adjust interest rates influences economic growth. These broader economic issues are the focus of macroeconomics, which helps us understand how the economy functions on a large scale. So, what exactly is macroeconomics? What core topics does it cover? Why is it important to study? What skills will you develop? In this video, I'll address these questions with you. Section 1. Definition. Macroeconomics is the branch of economics that examines the economy as a whole, focusing on aggregate outcomes such as national income, overall employment, and inflation. It explores how different economic policies and global events impact these large-scale economic indicators and aims to understand and manage economic growth and stability. Section 2. Topics. The major topics in macroeconomics include the following, number 1. Gross domestic product, GDP. GDP measures the total value of all goods and services produced in an economy over a specific period. It provides a snapshot of economic performance and growth, helping to assess whether the economy is expanding or contracting. For example, during 2023, the US GDP increased by 2.5%, driven by higher consumer spending and growth in sectors like technology and manufacturing. This growth reflects an overall expansion in economic activity. Number 2. Inflation. Inflation refers to the general increase in prices over time, eroding purchasing power. Macroeconomics examines causes of inflation, its impact on the economy, and measures to control it, such as monetary policy adjustments. For example, in 2021, the U.S experienced high inflation, with consumer prices rising significantly. Grocery prices surged due to disruptions in supply chains and increased demand, impacting household budgets. Number 3. Unemployment. Unemployment rates indicate the proportion of the labor force that is jobless and actively seeking employment. Understanding the types and causes of unemployment helps in designing policies to improve job creation and economic stability. For example, during the COVID-19 pandemic, the U.S. Unemployment rate spiked to 14.8% in April 2020 as businesses closed or scaled down, leading to massive job losses and economic uncertainty. Number 4. Monetary and Fiscal Policy. Monetary policy involves managing the money supply and interest rates to influence economic activity, while fiscal policy involves government spending and taxation decisions. Both play crucial roles in stabilizing the economy and promoting growth. For example, in response to the 2008 financial crisis, the Federal Reserve lowered interest rates to stimulate borrowing and spending, while the U.S. government passed stimulus packages to support economic recovery and job creation. Number 5. International Trade and Finance. This topic explores how trade balances, exchange rates, and global economic conditions impact national economies. It helps in understanding the effects of trade policies, currency fluctuations, and international economic relations. For example, the 2018 trade war between the US and China led to higher tariffs on each other's goods, disrupting global supply chains and increasing costs for imported products, which in turn affected consumer prices and business operations. Section 3. Importance. Learning macroeconomics is crucial for the following reasons. Number 1. Understanding economic indicators, it helps you interpret key indicators like GDP, CPI, and unemployment rates, providing insights into the overall health of the economy. For example, by understanding GDP growth rates, you can gauge whether the economy is expanding or contracting, affecting your investment decisions and job prospects. Number 2. Policy Impact Knowledge of macroeconomics helps you understand the effects of fiscal and monetary policies, such as government spending and interest rate changes, on economic stability and growth. For example, when the central bank changes interest rates, macroeconomics explains how this can influence borrowing costs, consumer spending, and economic activity. Number 3. Global Economic Insights it provides insights into how global events and international trade affect national economies, including issues like exchange rates and trade balances. For example, understanding how changes in global oil prices impact your country's economy helps you anticipate inflationary pressures and adjustments in economic policy. Number 4. Economic Forecasting It develops skills for predicting future economic trends and preparing for economic shifts, helping you make informed decisions in personal finance and business. 
For example, by analyzing economic forecasts, businesses can plan for potential recessions or booms, adjusting their strategies accordingly. Number 5. Economic Management For policymakers, macroeconomics offers tools for designing effective policies to manage economic growth and stability, addressing issues like unemployment and inflation. For example, Government policies to combat inflation or stimulate growth are based on macroeconomic analysis, aiming to stabilize the economy and improve living standards. Section 4. Core Skills To learn macroeconomics effectively, several key skills are essential. Number 1. Analytical Skills Macroeconomics requires analyzing large-scale economic data and understanding the relationships between economic indicators, such as how changes in GDP affect inflation and employment. Number 2. Quantitative skills. Basic mathematical and statistical skills are important for interpreting economic models, analyzing data, and understanding economic forecasts and trends. Number 3. Critical thinking. The ability to evaluate economic policies and their impacts on the broader economy is crucial. Critical thinking helps in assessing the effectiveness of different economic strategies and policies. Number 4. Data Interpretation. Being able to interpret economic data, such as GDP growth rates and unemployment statistics, is vital for understanding economic conditions and making informed decisions. Number 5. Policy Analysis. Understanding the implications of various fiscal and monetary policies helps in evaluating their potential effects on economic stability and growth, guiding both personal and business decisions. Section 5. Summary. To sum up, macroeconomics studies the economy as a whole, focusing on aggregate indicators like GDP, inflation, and unemployment. It is essential for understanding economic trends, evaluating policy impacts, and making informed decisions about economic issues. Alright, that's all for today's topic. If you have any questions regarding this video, please leave your thoughts in a comment below. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.